Hey guys, it's Xiao. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys three cute and easy Valentine's home decor ideas. For these items, I wanted to make them a little bit more practical and items that you can set out year-round and not only for Valentine's Day. So if you guys want to go ahead and see how I made these DIYs, then definitely just keep watching. Also, if you guys are new to my channel, please make sure to press that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. But without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into the video. Alright, so for the first DIY, we're going to go ahead and revamp up some old Christmas lights with some decorative ping pong balls. You can have these set out with the light on or off. They look cute either way. Alright, so for the materials, you'll need some old Christmas lights. I purchased these from Menards a long time ago. you also need some ping pong balls. I got these from Walmart for $2 each, but they do sell a pack of $36 for about $9 to $10 or else you can purchase them off of Amazon. You also need your color of choice of spray paint and glitter. Also, you'll need Mod Podge for the glitter, um, a paintbrush, an X-Acto knife, and a container, and then optional are cake pop sticks. All right, so to begin, you just wanna take one ping pong ball at a time and carefully with your X-Acto knife, cut an X into it. So it's gonna be about 3 4th to an inch long. So if your ping pong ball has some text like mine, you can cut it there, but this is what it should look like, just a simple X. And then once that's finished, just go ahead and repeat the same steps to the rest of the ping pong balls. This next step is optional, but I have some extra K-pop sticks laying around, so I just inserted those into the X that we cut, and this is going to make it a lot easier for spray painting. Next, I went ahead and started to spray paint six of the ping pong balls gold. I decided to divide them into six gold, six pink glitter, and then I left six of them plain. And again, this is going to differ depending on how many ping pongs you have. So I actually spray painted these in my bathtub and that didn't turn out to be the best idea. So I would really recommend spray painting outside if you can. So once you're done with that, you just want to let them dry. And while they're drying, we're going to go ahead and work on the glitter ping pong balls. Alright, moving on to the glitter ping pong ball, I did go ahead and, and use K-pop sticks again because it just made application way easier. So all you want to do is generously apply Mod Podge all over the ping pong ball. Without letting it dry, you want to go ahead and next sprinkle your choice of glitter all over it and rotating it, making sure that the whole ping pong ball is covered in glitter. You also want to make sure not to apply too much of a thick coat or else when the Christmas light is turned on, you won't be able to see the light as well. So if you find that there's some empty spaces like this, you just want to go ahead and take your brush with a Mod Posh, tap it on, and then just sprinkle more glitter on to cover the rest of the ping pong ball. Once that is finished, just go ahead and tap off the excess glitter, let that dry, and repeat these same steps with the rest of the ping pong balls. So this is how they all turned out. Like I stated, I decided to use some gold, pink glitter, and then I left some blank just to have a little bit of a contrast. So next, all you want to do is take your Christmas light and take one ping pong ball at a time. Where that X where you cut, you just want to insert the light bulb in. And you also want to make sure that you go over the bulb and go over that little white piece as well. So I just decided to alternate colors. So I did gold, pink, glitter, white, and then just repeated those colors. You can do that however you'd like. Just repeat these same steps until all your ping pong balls are finished and you are done with this DIY. So you can hang these up if you'd like, maybe over your bed or over your TV or something, but I just decided to place this on my drawer unit. Next, just go ahead and plug in your Christmas lights and enjoy your DIY revamped Christmas lights. So this is what they look like in a bright room. You can see all the patterns and the glitter really, really well. And then this is what they look like with the lights turned off. You can see the lights glowing and it just looks really cute and really pretty. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY and let's move on to the next one. Next DIY is probably one of my favorite. These are some colorful, cute heart shelves. So let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so for this DIY, you'll need some base wood. I got these from Michaels, or else if you really want to, you can use foam boards. You also need some acrylic paint. Optional is a metallic gold pen. You need an X-Acto knife, um, a hot glue gun, hot glue gun sticks, a ruler, pencil, paintbrush, paint palette is optional, and then something to put below your um, base wood while you're cutting it. Alright, so this is the base wood that I got from Michaels. Its thickness measures 3 over 32 inches, width is 3 inches, and then length is 24 inches. I wouldn't recommend getting anything thicker than this or else it might be a little bit harder to cut. Again, like I stated, you can use foam board if you really want to, but you won't be able to store super heavy stuff on your shelf. 
So before I start cutting the wood, I want to show you guys all the pieces that you'll need. Of course, you can go ahead and change the measurements. I just really eyeballed it since this was my first time. So you'll need two 7.5 inches by 3 inches. These are going to be the sides of the heart. You also need two 4 inches by 3 inches. These are going to be the top of the heart. You'll also need four pieces of 2.5 by 3 inch pieces. These are going to be the sides of the top of the hearts. You'll also need one last piece that is 7.5 inches by 3 inches and this is going to be the shelf of the heart. So since this base wood is already 3 inches in width, it's going to make the cutting process a lot easier. So I'll show you guys in the next couple clips. Alright, so to begin, I'm going to start off with one end of the base wood and measure off 7.5 and just make markings. So this is going to be the sides of our heart. So you want to do this and draw a line so you know where to cut and then flip that over. Measure again and draw a line so you are cutting in the same spot. Next, before we move into cutting, I'm just going to put something behind the board so that I don't damage my desk. And then you just want to score two to three times on each side. So once that's done, I'm going to flip it over and then do another two to three scores until you can kind of hear it break. Next, you just gem gently want to break them apart like that. And then with the leftover base wood, I already went ahead and measured another 7.5 inch in length. And we're going to go ahead and score that again on both sides. So score one side, flip it, score it again, and then just break that off. You want to repeat these steps so that you have all the pieces that I mentioned at the beginning. Next is the gluing process. So I'm just going to start off with two of the 3 by 2.5 pieces and then the 3 by 4 pieces. This is going to be one side of the top of the heart. These are laid down in the order that they should be glued in. So I'm just going to grab one of the smaller pieces and apply some glue onto the edge. And then once that's finished, just grab the middle piece, attach it together and hold it together until the glue kind of dries. And then you want to apply more glue to the other side and take that smaller piece and connect it together and hold it in place. Next, we're going to repeat these same steps to the other three identical pieces to make the other side of the top of the heart. Next, taking the 3 by 7.5 piece, we're going to go ahead and attach that to one side of the top of the heart. So just apply glue and attach them, press until they are cool, and then repeat the same steps to the other side of the heart. Lastly, you are left with two sides of a heart and all you want to do is glue them together, of course. And then before we add more glue, you just want to go ahead and structure the heart the way you want it. So I kind of wanted the center to be down a little bit more, so I'm just pushing it down. And then here I'm just going to take my glue gun and add more glue um, where they connected, so on the inside and the outside. I just went ahead and painted the inside of the heart shelf white, and then I'm going to go ahead and paint the outside pink. I also did a minty green one as well. Let those dry, and then we're going to move on to the next step. Next, taking the last piece, which is the 3 by 7.5 inch piece, and we're going to apply glue on both edge and then firmly press that onto the bottom of the heart so that we can create the shelf. And then once that is done, we're going to go ahead and apply more glue where those pieces connect just to reinforce it. This part is optional, but I had a gold metallic marker laying around, so I decided to color in the edges of the shelf, and this just added the cutest gold pop of color. And to display it, I just put these in the hallway of my apartment and I just used some thumbtacks on each corner of the heart. And then just simply go ahead and decorate with any of your favorite pieces. I just put in this small little frame and then added some really nice pop of color of nail polish. And then I also added these really cute little succulent plants that I got from Michaels as well. And I love the way this DIY turned out. So moving on to the last DIY, we'll be doing this reversible heart throw pillow or plush. So let's go ahead and get into this. So I accidentally deleted the clip of all the materials, but it's really simple. You just need some fabric, a hot glue gun, glue sticks, stuffing, which you can just get from a pillow, scissors, and marker. Alright, so I started off by turning one piece of the fabric upside down so I can work on the back. I just freehanded a heart. You can do a heart, a star, or whatever you'd like. Um, and then once that's done, you go ahead and just cut the outline that you traced. 
Next with the other piece of fabric face down, my fabric was the same on both sides so I just left it that way. I put that heart on top and then used my marker to trace over that. And then again just went ahead and cut that out. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and let that first fabric, the pink one, lay the way that we traced and cut it. And then with that silver piece facing down, we're going to go ahead and line them up. And then you simply want to go ahead and take your glue gun and start gluing the edges. You just want to go a little bit at a time and then press firmly so that they both stick together. Continue this until you get almost to the beginning but you want to leave a gap so that you can go ahead and put in the stuffing. But of course before you can start stuffing you have to go ahead and stick your hand in there and turn it inside out so that all of the um, fabric is showing. So you just want to adjust that and then simply go ahead and start stuffing it up. So I started stuffing one side of the heart first, the one farthest away from the hole and then just started working my way to the bottom and then to the entrance of that hole. And then lastly, all you have to do is seal up that gap that you left. All you want to do is just add a little bit of glue gun to that silver piece or that bottom piece. Um, take that top fabric, fold it inside, and then you just want to lay it on top and then pinch that until it dries. And just like that, you're finished. So you can go ahead and choose the silver side or the pink side. It's really simple. You can go ahead and change them up however you like to, but I really, really loved how this turned out. Alright everyone, that is it for my DIY Valentine's room decor items. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions or requests, please let me know down below. Also, if you guys are not a subscriber, please press the subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!